Republic is inspired by Rufio, a signature character in Steven Spielberg's classic movie, Hook. Um, it's played by Dante Bosco, so you can use this for whatever you can think of. I, I hope you enjoy it, though. Start with a clean face. Then apply moisturizer. This helps keep the skin more comfortable and actually helps prepare the skin for makeup. If you haven't, apply face primer focusing especially on areas you tend to get oily. Common spots are around the nose and forehead, also known as the T-zone. If you want, apply foundation. For me, not only does this help even out my complexion, but foundation also creates an adhesive base for eyeshadows, bronzers, powders, and even eyeliner to hold on to. I took my most natural, subtle bronzer and applied a light layer to my cheeks just to give it a bit of color, but not too much. One of the key signatures to this look are defined bold brows. Brush them before and after drawing on them. I found it extremely appropriate to use black to define the brows because it fits Rufio's color scheme, and it's also warlike and intimidating to suit the look. Primer helps makeup last longer, reduces creasing, and helps make the color more vibrant as well. You can add hours of fresh looking makeup compared to wearing eyeshadow without it. Then I took my more creamy based eyeshadow base and applied it specifically to the sides of my nose to help prepare for the battle marks we will apply in the end. You don't want these vivid black and red colors to smear off easily. Take a red eyeshadow and apply it to your lids only. Using a brush or finger will work. First focus on applying neatly to your lids, then use a finger or brush to lightly feather out the edges to soften the edges of the shadow. Then take a firm black eyeliner pencil and apply to the waterline, tightline it, and apply a thick line to the lid. This will create a beautiful contrast with the red. Now smolder the black to create a deeper effect using a thin eyeshadow brush and black eyeshadow. You can also just smear or smolder the eyeliner itself, but adding additional black eyeshadow can actually help set the eyeliner and it's easier on the eyes because you won't have to tug as much. You can use the same brush you used for the red to pick up black shadow to apply to the bottom to smoke out the color. Smoldering the black truly blends the red and black colors together, making them complement the other instead of clashing. If you have them, apply fun, dramatic lashes. I chose black feather lashes to match with the black and red feathers used in my outfit. However, using black mascara alone or different styled false lashes will work just fine. Remember, this is your look. Curl your lashes after they've dried to bond them with your real lashes, then apply mascara to seal it. and can be a bit tricky, but if done right, it has an effective difference. Contour your face using neutral browns in cream, aqua color, or powder formula. I chose to use this cream palette and selected a shade that was an earthy brown, but darker than my natural skin color. This will be used to contour and shadow. Suck in to find the line of your cheekbone. The point of doing this is to receive the hollows of your cheeks to create the illusion of deeper, encaved facial features. I went over my contouring with brown powder to soften the edges, and I also contoured my nose. Doing all this gives a more angular appearance and also a slightly grungy Lost Boys kind of look as well, so you don't have to keep it too neat. Then take a white or lighter cream color and apply it to the nose bridge, under the eyes, your cupid's bow, under your lip, and the brow bone. This is called highlighting and it makes the features more prominent and brings more light to them. It complements shadowing. Now line your lips with burgundy lip liner. Lip liner to me is crucial in maintaining a sharp and satisfying red lipstick color. It reduces feathering and helps lip color last much longer. And now your look is complete. No, I'm kidding. So just fill the lips with a strong red lipstick and rub your lips together to help spread out the product. Make sure to lick your teeth and check them for lipstick stains. I then lined the borders of my lips with a slightly darker red lipstick to add more dimension and depth. Reline your lips with a lip liner if needed. Now the signature and last part, the battle marks. This of course is optional, but it's the signature makeup of your war in his last battle. You may draw these black lines however you want. Finally, you're done.
to dress up like this for Halloween and you want some awesome eyelashes like these. These are just it kind of like feather eyelashes. They work really nice actually. You can just search black feather eyelashes on Google shop and find some. But if you want to try to win them for me and what you have to do, if you're a Hook fan, um, if you're my age, you probably it's probably one of your childhood movies, right? It came out when you were younger. So, you probably know some quotes from the movie. A lot of signature quotes are in Hook. What I'm asking you guys to do is you, you have to have a camera. You have to be able to post a video response. There's no way to enter this using a comment, so you have to have a camera. Then what you have to do is choose one or two or how many quotes you want from Hook. Preferably things said by the Lost Boys or Rufio and record yourself saying it. But don't just record yourself reciting it off the screen or a paper. I want you to get in there and show you are proud. A proud Rufio fan. So post video responses of you saying bangerang, you are the pen, hit that little bird call he does when he pops out. Um, whichever you can think of, just rewatch the movie or just you know look up clips from Hook and post a video response. And the person, there's only one winner, the person that's the most creative, most shameless, will win. So yeah, I want to see those hardcore Rufio fans and I want you to be, ah, just don't be afraid. Just post a video response, have fun with it, and you can win a free set of eyelashes like this. Need help? Here are some examples. Are you gonna follow this droola? Against El Capitan. In your face, camel cake. Kill the lawyer! You can fight, you can fly, you wore the pin. I've got pan sword now. I'm the pan now. You think this guy's gonna take it from me, Rufio? All grown ups are pirates. We kill pirates. You are a fart factory, slug slime, sakuraka, sick cat vomit, cheesy scat, pick pimple, finger squeezing bandage. A week old maggot burger with everything on it flies on the side. <laughs> Remember, the deadline to post your video response is October 21. And thank you so much for watching. And now a message from Dante Bosco that I feel is important to share. 20 years ago when I went down to the Bay Area, I mean, from, came from the Bay and went to LA, I'd go into auditions as a kid and people didn't even know what a Filipino was. You oh, know? hell no. There was, I mean, there were no roles written for Filipinos and right. still very little. I mean, we're a small minority that we're trying to open up and, and get more notice of who we are in the world, especially in America. And they're starting to write things more with the things I've done with Manny Pacquiao now becoming such a big name that what I say to young artists is keep doing it. We need, it's not about one artist. It's not about one person. We need to have a movement of not only, you know, Filipino Americans, but Asian Americans in general. Keep doing the comedy. Keep writing your songs. Keep doing your dance crews because when the talent is out there, there's more and more hope for us and our voice to shine in Hollywood and whatnot. So that's my biggest thing the Bay Area Cats is like, come down, don't be scared. It's like, I'm not afraid. People go, oh, aren't you afraid this young new Filipino cat's gonna come and do your thing? I'm like, what? they're gonna be afraid of, there needs to be more. It's not about being selfish, it's about- There you go. We gotta share, Steve yeah, it's share. about It's about supporting our next generation and, and helping to, you know, build where we, what we've already done. Keep building on what we're doing. And this video is dedicated to Dante Bosco. Thank you so much for being such a huge inspiration to Asian Americans in the arts.